Today we're going to be learning a little bit about the fuel injection system on your car's engine. Now the purpose of the fuel delivery system on the car is to optimize the fuel as it gets mixed with the intake air going into the engine to optimize combustion as well as fuel efficiency. Now in this engine we have the fuel line that will connect over here. It will send fuel over to this fuel rail and this is pressurized by the fuel pump. And then we have these four fuel injectors that sit on top of your air inlets on the head of the engine above the engine block. And that is called a multi-port fuel injection system where the fuel is actually injected before it goes down into the combustion chamber. Now attached to this you have the intake manifold that goes to the throttle body that controls the amount of air that enters the engine. You've got your fuel injectors that are controlled by the ECU, your ignition timing through the spark plugs, as well as the variable valve timing that's controlled by this solenoid over here. Now in order to have a closer look at what's going on here, I'm going to remove the head from the engine block. And then I'll pull off the valve cover from the engine head. And you can see this is what the head looks like, where the fuel injectors are right on top. So with this head removed, you can see we've got the fuel injector over here. And if we take a closer look inside of the intake port, you can see that at the top there is where the fuel injector sprays fuel. And you'll also notice that there's a lot of black suit and carbon buildup just before the fuel injector, but just after the fuel injector, it's really clean inside of here. And that's the main advantage of port injection, is that the fuel itself actually acts like a cleaner and cleans these intake valves as you're driving. Here's another look two cylinders over. You can see that those valves are pretty clean inside of there compared to all the carbon buildup just around it. The fuel injector is doing its job by cleaning those intake valves and also mixing the air before it goes into the combustion chamber with fuel. So now I'm going to pull off the fuel rail here. And you can see this is what the injectors look like. Some of them have these O-rings on them. Now this fuel injector solenoid is activated by the ECU very rapidly many times per second with a pulse width in the milliseconds. Now pressurized fuel will enter here from the fuel rail. When the solenoid activates it will spray through these small little tiny holes on the tip of the fuel injector here in a specific pattern that will allow it to optimally mix with the air instead of the air intake. So I've got a washer tank, a power supply and the fuel rail all connected together and I'm going to fire it up to see how it sprays. And now you can see as I make my connection how the fuel injector sprays in this V-shaped pattern that mystifies the water coming through it. So now I'm going to cut open this fuel injector so we can have a closer look at what's inside. Now it's time to bring in the big guns. Take off more of this casing here. And you can see this reveals the coil inside of there. Okay, there you go. And so you can see just what's inside. We've got this coil over here and that forms basically an electromagnet. And on the inside there we have a seated surface that sits flush against this little pin over here. Now I'm going to chop open the injector body to see what's inside. And here you can see you've got the injector all cut apart. This is the first part here. It's got a hole that goes through. Then it goes through the central part here, which has this coil on it, which acts like an electromagnet. And then we've got this part over here, which has this little pintle on it, just like a little pin with a nail head on it. And that moves back and forth. Now normally fuel pressure is going to push this pintle closed against the tip here and prevent fuel from flowing through the injector. Now when this electromagnet activates, it's going to suck the pintle back inward like this and that's going to allow fuel to flow through the injector and around the pintle and then out the nozzle where it sprays into the air intake stream. So here's a cross section of how the fuel injector works. You've got fuel that enters at the top here in the cylinder and then it comes down over here to where this coil section is. Now this coil is controlled through this plug by the ECU. Now when the ECU decides that gasoline needs to flow into the cylinder, it will energize this coil here and that will retract this little pintle valve here that will push up. Now normally gasoline flow will push it downward but the energizing of the coil will actually suck this back up allowing the gasoline to go around the pintle valve and then out through the bottom sprayers at the bottom here to atomize with the air in the air intake. Now you can see with how tiny the fuel passages are inside of here that these can become gummed up by either having bad gas or water in the gasoline. Now one thing you can do to clean these is to soak them in an ultrasonic bath or you can actually run some injector cleaner through them. Now having clogged fuel injectors could cause poor fuel economy as well as incomplete combustion and increased emissions and that could cause the engine to run sluggish. Now if you've ever heard of the term a leaky fuel injector that could either be external through these o-rings or the casing itself or it could be internal through this little pintle here that doesn't seal properly. Now a leaky fuel injector will cause that cylinder to run rich and increase fuel consumption. Now while port injection will inject fuel right into that nice cold airstream up at the top there, 
Direct injection will actually inject fuel in the combustion chamber itself and it will be sitting right next to the spark plug or in the actual engine block itself. So you can definitely tell how much more beefier your fuel injectors have to be in order to handle the higher fuel pressure and temperatures of the combustion chamber. Here we have a quick diagram illustrating the difference between port injection and direct injection. Now you can see here port injection is where the fuel injector will be sitting over here along the intake valve before it goes into the cylinder. That way your air and your fuel get to mix together as a mixture and it's controlled overall by the timing of the intake valve. Now on this side here with direct injection, you've got the intake and exhaust valves that operate individually. They control the airflow, but the fuel flow is directly injected into the cylinder head right next to the spark plug at the top there. Now just to demonstrate how carbon buildup could actually be an issue, I'm going to attempt to clean up some of that carbon from inside of here. I've got a little bit of carb cleaner here. I'm just going to spray it down. And then I'm going to come in with my brother's toothbrush here and scrub it down. And we can see just how much carbon is going to come off. Okay, and once all that's nice and scrubbed down, I'm just going to come in with half of my brother's old underwear here and clean it up. Got to save some for later, you know. And look at that, it's so much cleaner inside of there now. And look at that, you can see that this cylinder is much cleaner now compared to the cylinder beside it. Now this is the engine in my Toyota Camry, it is a port injected V6 engine. You can have a listen to the injectors after a cold start. If you listen, you don't really hear any clicking noise coming from the fuel injectors, which would be located just under the engine cover here. Now as a comparison, have a listen to the engine from my Lexus GS350 on a cold start which has both direct and port injection. So as a good comparison, you can definitely hear the injectors clicking away underneath the fuel rail which is located over here. Now some of the advantages of direct injection are of course better fuel economy and more power and it also doesn't have to wait for the timing of the intake valve in order to bring rich fuel into the system because it's just directly injected. However, because it's operating at much higher pressures and temperatures in the combustion chamber itself, your fuel injectors are going to be a little bit more expensive and it's also more prone to carbon buildup on the intake valve. Now direct injection is great because you can inject fuel into the cylinder to either cool it off or to allow for a swirling effect which is better for turbocharged modern engines. Port injection on the other hand is a little bit more cheaper to manufacture because your injectors are located out here and it also keeps your intake valves clean. However, it doesn't allow the fuel to mix properly with the air at some times and go into the engine the way a direct injection would and therefore you won't get as better fuel economy. Now ideally, modern engines actually have both direct injection and port injection that combines the advantages of both while mitigating the disadvantages. And that's pretty much what goes on inside of the fuel injection system in your car. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.